Hi, I'm Charles Esperati, and I'm thankful for the opportunity to speak to you. One of the most often asked questions during the many Bicon seminars and lectures we do worldwide is on how to remove an abutment from a Bicon implant. Although it's a very simple procedure, many clinicians are a little afraid or don't know exactly how to do these procedures. We have basically two different techniques, tapping method and the twisting pulling motion. Both are simple and straightforward to be done. First, we use an extraction forceps. Once you grasp the crown or the abutment that you desire to remove, you use a mallet that comes with a bicon kit and tap on the handle of the forceps until the crown or the abutment is out. The other method is the twist and pulling motion. Also, using a forceps, grasping the crown or the abutment you desire to remove, you do a gentle twist and pull motion, and the crown or abutment will be removed. If you're using a permanent restoration, it's always advisable to use a small piece of gauze or clear plastic in order to protect or avoid any scratching of the restoration. So people are concerned if these procedures may cause any damage or any problems to the implant well, and they don't. The reason for having two different methods is very simple. Although the majority of the implants are integrated after a period of 10 to 12 weeks, the healing between the titanium and the bone takes a little longer to be completely mature. So in order to avoid any unnecessary torque to the adjacent bone, if you're removing an abutment from an implant that has been placed in less than a year period of time, we always advise to use the tapping method. Hope you enjoy this presentation. Thank you.